Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is the second model build from our Genesis Climber Mospita uh, 115 scale Ima, Imai uh, model build. This is a 1985 vintage model uh, from the Wright Armor collection and we are uh, going to be building the VR038L uh, Fuke type. This is in the... In, a lot of uh, a lot of people probably know this armor from the uh, American version of Genesis Climber Mospita, which was Robotech: The Next Generation. So this was like the third saga of Robotech, but it was actually originally uh, in Japan. A Genesis Climber Mospita was the was the was the saga. So today we're going to be building this red armor. This was Rooks. Uh, I'm just getting everything out of the box here. Um, we will. Uh, I will do some spray painting with this. Tamaya uh, red, metallic red. It's going to be a little bit different than the color of the original, but I wanted to kind of use this metallic red, try it out. Uh, I was going to use this on the Iron Man armor uh, video that I did. You can see this is metallic red, TS-95. Uh, I'm just going to do shaker cans, so I'm going to also try to do something a bit different to it. I've got, the, I've got a black primer for the, for the wheels. Um, I'm just going to go a flat black on the wheels, the tires. And then I'm also going to just follow the uh, instructions on the manual for the painting with some white and some gray painting as well. So I'll get the wheels in black. Uh, then I also have a number of uh, white, white components here. Uh, basically the arms, the forearm covers, the wheel covers, uh, and some of those wheel transformation covers, as well as uh, shoulder, shoulder pads, the helmet, a couple other couple other concepts. So I've got all of those on, on, on spray sticks. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through and hit these. Sort of fast forward through these. So wrapping up this white spray, I'm going to respray. I've resprayed a couple of them, just give them a quick second coat. And uh, I'm going to jump into the next color, which will be the black for the tires. So get those, uh, get a coat of black on those as well. Same flat black paint. I'll just do them one by one here. I'm uh, just going to rotate them into the spray. There are some details. I think when I did the um, the the uh, VR052F Mospita uh, stick armor. I actually built the wheels first. I think that was the right move because this you're going you're to see that there's some, when you assemble them, some of this is a bit sprayed. So I, I recommend that you pre-assemble some components first, maybe like the arms, uh, some of the leg components, and then you're always going to have to respray a bit if you're doing the spray method, but you can kind of minimize your, your respray. Now we're hitting with the red, with that metallic red. Uh, I've left a bunch of these on the 
um, on the frames as well. A couple pieces were on the white frame, so I took those out, but the rest of them are just going to hit them on the uh, frames. I did notice that this was a kind of not a great idea either, because once I assembled them, I noticed that the spray was uneven, and there were lots of missing and mismatched areas where, say, the, the, the seams would meet, and you could see the spray level was different. But I, I solved it pretty easily after build. I, I, go, I went ahead and... Um, gave them a quick uh, quick hit. So I'll go, ahead and go through these reds and we'll catch up at the tail end. Okay, so a quick flyover of these. You can see that those reds look real nice. It really looks like Iron Man armor. I got the black wheels got the white for the other bits. Some of these white pieces that had red undercoat, not getting super great coverage, so I'm gonna to have to hit those a couple more times. But yeah, let's get over, let's get these um, collected uh, back onto the table, and we can start with some uh, assembly. I'll start clipping these off and uh, taking care of the assembly here. see some of this red is it's got some inconsistent spray and you can see that there's some some areas didn't get hit with the primer coat I think on second thought I should have probably primed them twice but it's no no worry so I'm going to start start with the um, model instructions work the way through building the legs first uh, just going to get the pieces out uh, glued this is much different. This 1990, 1990 uh, sorry, 1985 model is very different from the models I'm used to doing, building the Evangelion uh, Bondi RG models. These, uh, they don't really fit together. They really rely on you to glue it and position everything exactly right. So it's not that engineering that you see in these Bondi RG. Uh, it's even better than, I mean, it's even worse than the, the HG, where like, the, although there are some pegs, it's it's almost like, you're just gluing two pieces of plastic together without really any any uh, interlocking components. So yeah, definitely a vintage model style, and you can really see how much models have improved. So here's a leg, first leg finished. I'm gonna do some respray on this to uh, make sure I get it um, completed. Now we're gonna move on to the arms and 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 the same same drill here. Yeah, I definitely will have to touch up some of the white on this arm, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I uh, got arms and legs built. Let's go on to building the main main body, um, the head, and the um, other components for the for the back piece with the tires.
and finishing up the main body we've got most of all the components built here now it's just about assembly again this is glue intensive you're going to have to glue this assemblage it doesn't sort of snap together correctly i mean the arms and legs do have pegs but i think even the back uh configuration with the tires from the transformation mode you really have to be careful how you align the angles because it doesn't snap in at all it's really you and the glue and positioning it the right way so yeah definitely challenging it's more of an advanced model i want to say from from my uh, opinion like you could get things wrong for sure doing this but yeah super fun to build this uh, model you can see that the the main torso and the arms coming together here uh, next up i'm going to build the head get some flesh paint on the little face insert that just sits that'll get glued into the helmet and then I'm going to work on the uh, the helmet itself, get that glued in, and get the uh, covering dome for the helmet on as well. For the two clear pieces, I basically just used a blue wash, a couple coats of a blue wash and let it dry. And I also used a yellow, uh, translu transparent yellow uh, for the other component. But you can see it, it, I did a much better job than my first helmet. Uh, but get that helmet placed and get the other wheel on the back you can see now so that's coming together we got the arms on just snapping the legs and this will be almost will almost be done And finishing up getting the legs on, we got the full armor here. Uh, I've got to do a few touch-up paints, but I'll, I will do a couple shots of flyby here. And um, I will. I actually did the touch-up paint off camera, so you'll see at the very last hero shots uh, the cleaned-up paint job. I didn't put the decals on. Now I'm a little scared to put the decals on as these are um, super fragile decals. So I'm kind of kind of leave it for now, uh, and I will really focus on it when I'm sort of clear. But yeah, I. I uh, looks good with the other model. Takes me right back to Ro uh, Robotech, uh, Genesis Climber, Mosbita. Uh Guys, leave comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. You can check out our Patreon. We've got a bookstore down below. It uh, helps us support the channel. And uh, looking forward some, to some new model builds. Uh, if you ring the bell, you can get notified for when we do uh, our next model builds and uh, also when we do miniature painting. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.